Hi, I'm Dr. Swarchla, scientific director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What are the infections that can cause infertility? This is an often asked question. Infections could be mild or serious and infections could also lead to infertility. There are four kinds of infections that could lead to infertility or in some way cause infertility, which are bacterial, viral, fungal or even protozoal. We are going to be talking about bacterial mostly. Let's talk about bacterial infection first. The most common bacterial infection is chlamydia, which is caused due to multiple partners it's sexually transmitted it's usually first uh, the site of infection is the vagina and it travels into the uterus through the uterus into the tubes where the damage could be of various types it could cause inflammation as in swelling in the tubes which could lead to blockages blockages could lead to problems in um, you know fertilization or problems in sperms uh, reaching the eggs in the tube various kinds of problems due to blockages then there could be damage to the tubes as well even if there is no blockage the environment of the tube is very important for fertilization to occur if there is damage to that environment to the kind of uh, humidity or the ph that should be there and it's not happening then uh, fertilization or pregnancy is also affected by those reasons next is gonorrhea gonorrhea also affects uh, in similar way by intercourse but it also can cause serious issues in the fallopian tubes although chlamydia may not show us too many symptoms gonorrhea comes uh, manifests itself in the form of pain and high fever and it can also damage tubes as severely or even more like uh, chlamydia one step ahead gonorrhea has been seen to cause uh, scar scar tissue where the anatomy of the ovaries and the tubes can also be disrupted because of the scars being present the ovulation could also be disrupted because of this cause tests are usually done by a small swab test a small swab is passed into the vagina and a small sample is taken and examined if it was a previous infection antibodies may be present and depending on that treatment is given or not usually these are treatable and prolonged use of medication can also help you get over uh, this problem if the severity was less then there is yeast infection which is fungal infection and we have to understand that vagina has a balance of bacteria and fungus in the form of candida it's a yeast infection when there is an imbalance between these two fungal infection can be caused which could cause itching which could cause redness and, and uh, these are not known to cause infertility as such but they could uh, cause you to not have intercourse during ovulation because there could be soreness there could be itching there could be blisters which is why infertility could also be a by product of this yeast infection next viral infections the most common are hpv human papilloma virus which causes severe damage to the cervix and it could lead to infertility if you want to understand more if you have been diagnosed as having these infections that i have talked about please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you